looking at the um, National 5 2015 physics question paper, question number 3A, part 1. And it says the following. It's quite a long um, opening to this question. A technician uses pulses of ultrasound, um, high-frequency sound, to detect imperfections in a sample of steel. We can see that in the picture uh, down here. Uh, the pulses of ultrasound are transmitted into the steel and the speed is 5,200 meters per second. Uh, we should take note of that. It might come up in a question later in that speed. Uh, where there are no imperfections, the pulses travel through the steel and are reflected by the back wall, which is what's shown here at position X. Where there are imperfections, the pulses of ultrasound are reflected by these imperfections. And if we look down, we can see at the bottom here, an imperfection and the ultrasound is reflected off that imperfection and it also says um, the pulse the reflected pulses return through the sample and are detected by the receiver which will clearly be here as well it's a transmitter and a receiver and the technician transmits the pulses of ultrasound into the steel at positions x y and z as shown so that's what we've got there and then it shows down below a graph it says the time between the pulses being transmitted and, re and received for positions X and Y are shown. So it doesn't actually tell you which is position X and which is position Y. So let's just have a think about this. On the side of the graph, we've got amplitude of reflected pulse. And here we have times along the bottom. And you would expect, I suppose, um, well, this one is going to take longer to travel through the steel and back again. It has to travel farther. This one is going to take less time uh, and travel back again. Um, so from that perspective, I would predict that this one here, the one that takes um, less time is going to be um, Y, and the one that takes more time is going to be X. Now, the other thing to bear in mind, I suppose, is the, uh, the amplitude of the reflected pulse. That's the intensity. Um, of how much ultrasound actually is reflected back. Now if we think about that again, um, Y being the the one that takes the least time, um, oops, don't know what happened there, uh, it's also going to have the greatest intensity because it doesn't have to travel through as much steel, so it's not going to lose um, or have the ultrasound as absorbed by the steel. And so that also makes sense. Down here Y has got the um, the greatest amplitude reflected as well as being the quickest. So anyway, on to the question, uh, which is, state the time taken for the pulse um, to be transmitted and received at position X. Well, we've just kind of discussed that, haven't we? Uh, pos position X is this one here, the 15 millisecond pulse, and that's because it takes longer and therefore the amplitude of the reflection is uh, less as well because it's traveling through more steel. So what we're going to say is that the time taken um, between the pulse being transmitted and received is 15, what are the units? Mm, microseconds. So we want to write that in. Um, so we'll do that right here. 15 microseconds. And that's our answer. Just to bear in mind a couple of things about micro. If you write U instead of mu, which is the correct symbol, um, you wouldn't get it right, obviously. You need to make sure you do it correctly. If you forget it and just write S, it's 15 seconds, uh, you'll also get it incorrect. But you could write it in standard form. And uh, what I mean by that is you could write it like, like this, um, 15 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. And that would also be correct. 